Hello everybody, and we're back for another episode going over Microsoft's Activision Blizzard acquisition. Now, as the title says, is Microsoft getting ready to close on the acquisition? There are some suggestions and hints that might be the case, that this might finally, finally be winding down, coming to an end. Uh, but first things first, today, Activision Blizzard CCO and EVP on Twitter mentioned... Turkey has now unconditionally approved the merger, uh, Activision Blizzard merger, with Microsoft, uh, bringing the total up to, what, 39, 40 countries, depending on if you consider the U.S. having approved it or not approved it. We'll get into that momentarily, but the deal has now been officially 100% approved in Turkey, South Africa, South Korea, China, the European Union, Ukraine, Japan, Chile, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, and Serbia, um, pretty much unconditionally everywhere around the world other than the European Union at this point which Microsoft did have to have some remedies which was enough to satisfy the concerns that the European Union regulators had so that is most of the world basically basically at this point what's going on in the US and what's going on in the UK why am I thinking Microsoft is getting ready to close on the deal we'll get, we'll be getting into that uh, momentarily um, but um, earlier this week, I'm sure we've mentioned, so you've seen Microsoft tentatively won, won its fight with the FTC with the hearings, with Judge Corley ruling in favor of Microsoft and denying the FTC its preliminary injunction to try to get the deal blocked for Microsoft being allowed to close the deal. So that's good for Microsoft. And then yesterday, last night, um, I'm sorry if you saw my last video, you see what went down, the FTC did file its appeal to try to get the ruling overturned. But of course, it's the court that has to approve of the appeal to the ruling. And I'm trying to like make sense of all this ins insanity, to say the least, at this point. Um, and of course, Microsoft and Activision will be uh, contesting this. Um, but obviously, it comes down to the Ninth Circuit of Appeals to see what they come down to. So yeah, now that the FTC has filed its appeal, it needs the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals to issue an emergency stay to extend the current temporary restraining order, which ends on Friday at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. Tomorrow. It's the time of this recording. Tomorrow. So technically Saturday midnight, uh, Microsoft, as, as long as they, the temporary restraining order is not extended, they can close the deal as soon as Saturday. Uh, most likely it would end up Probably being mon Monday is what I'm thinking, and there's some good evidence for that. Um, and I'm seeing here on Twitter, Microsoft, the FTC asked Judge Corley to stay her own PI order, which is apparently a standard procedure before it's taken appeals. But um, it means that several California judges are he's saying, probably on the phone right now, trying to figure this out. Uh, basically, they have literally one day for both courts to weigh in on this. Otherwise, the deal, deal is cleared for Lania one day, which is unheard of, being one day, having no time to decide. It's because the FTC waited for just pretty much the last minute to try to stop the deal because they knew well ahead of time the deadline for Microsoft's Activision Blizzard acquisition is next week now, July 18th. It's Tuesday? Wednesday? It is next Tuesday. is literally the deadline. Absolutely crazy. I mean, it seems like a last Hail Mary by the FTC. We'll see what happens, but it's not looking likely they'll win the appeal at this point. Some people are speculating the reason they filed this appeal is so Lena Khan, the chair of the FTC, could would not be allowed to talk about it during her hearings um, with Congress today. Um, there are videos on, online if you want to check that stuff out. But the reason why I'm thinking Microsoft is getting ready to close the deal this reason here, NASDAQ released a press release uh, late yesterday um, announcing that the Trade Desk, a company called the Trade Desk, will be joining the NASDAQ 100 Index and replacing Activision Blizzard, um, which will be completely removed from the NASDAQ 100 ESG Index. And this is set to occur before the market opens on Monday, July 17th. Um, and I'm pretty sure the stock exchange opens at like 9 or 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, fairly certain. So they'd be early Monday, potentially, Microsoft. Um, so yeah, Activision Blizzard being removed from the NASDAQ 100 index could possibly suggest, this is where I'm thinking, uh, that Microsoft is getting ready to close its acquisition of the giant gaming publisher for a deal for nearly $70 billion. So this potentially, this is it. This could be it. Potentially this week or very early Monday morning, depending on where you live. Obviously, if you're in New York, that'd be the afternoon. Um, but if you're East Coast U.S., potentially 8, 9 in the morning, we might get an announcement from Microsoft saying that they've closed the deal. Potentially. Or maybe even over the weekend, which seems unlikely. 
but potentially before they are officially delisted Monday morning, Activision Blizzard, from the stock exchange. Um, and obviously, there's still some things that could stop this um, from happening. Of the FTC winning its appeal and a temporary restraining order being extended so the judges have some time to rule on things. Um, the, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Um, and obviously in the UK. But with the Activision Blizzard being delisted, it makes me think that Microsoft and the uh, UK regulator have pretty much worked out a deal. It sounds like the UK regulator might be doing certain things about working on a new deal with Microsoft, but acting like they still can get a win to save face versus just looking like a bunch of idiots for blocking the deal and acting like they can get something more out of Microsoft, which Microsoft, I'm sure, is more than willing to do, depending on what the remedy will be with the Competition Markets Authority, the CMA, in the UK. We don't know what it is at this point. Uh, the CMA's main focus, um, they dropped any issues with console gaming, so it's not going to be anything to do with like console gaming or whatever. Uh, their main focus was issues with potential cloud gaming and giving Microsoft too much an advantage come the future in the cloud potential cloud gaming market, which, if you know, cloud gaming right now is pretty niche, pretty small, but obviously has a chance to grow in the next 10 to 20 years and become one of the main ways to be gaming versus on a hardware like a PC console or even your mobile phone. Um, but obviously that depends on a lot of question marks for that. So yeah, the main reason I'm thinking again why I think Microsoft's getting ready to close on the deal because Activision Blizzard is being removed from the NASDAQ 100 index early Monday before market opens. Which makes me think this could be it. We might be. This saga is is just. This saga is going on longer than the fight between Goku and Frieza in Dragon Ball Z. That moment when Frieza is like, I give Namek five more minutes till it explodes, and it ends up being like nine episodes, like three hours later or whatever. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, even though, yes, my name Trunks W does come from Future Trunks and Dragon Ball Z, but man, even that is ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. And this feels like this is going on even longer than that. And I've been writing on this for, well, a year and a half at this point. Um, and yes, tactically, yeah, I get more views on YouTube, more views on VG charts for the Activision Blizzard acquisition than anything else I write about other than some sales stuff on VG charts, which, you know, the main niche of VG charts that separates us from other gaming sites is our hardware and software figures. Um, the hardware estimates as well as official software figures, uh, which we only do estimates now for hardware which we now post them once a month we've got japan out for june of this time of writing europe will be coming out probably sometime next week u.s a little bit later or north or say america's later in the month and then obviously the worldwide estimates um just waiting i now wait for more data to come in which is why i made this change and then software figures are no longer estimates they are official uh shipment slash uh sold through figures from publishers and developers um that are made available online um but yeah I think that's about it. What do you guys think? Is Microsoft going to close on the deal? Let me know in the comment section down below. Is this it? Is this week or potentially early Monday morning going to be the end? They're going to close the deal. We're going to get one last, I mean, say one last article on this acquisition. I'm sure there'll be a ton of more information coming out over like, what are the exact plans Microsoft has with Activision Blizzard? What games are coming to Game Pass from Activision Blizzard? Which early on, I think once it's closed, um, I would expect most of Activision Blizzard games that are available on Xbox and PC, be coming to Xbox uh, Game Pass on PC and Xbox consoles. Um, except for Call of Duty, because Sony still has their deal in place um, with Activision Blizzard through the end of 2024, so I would not expect to see Call of Duty on Game Pass, at least newer Call of Duty games on Game Pass, until t January 1st, 2025 at the earliest. Uh, potentially older ones, we don't know for sure. We'll find out exactly what's going on here. Um... But yeah, stay tuned, VGCharts.com, subscribe to this YouTube channel, I'll be going over any news, especially if the deal closes, I'll get a video up um, as soon as I can. Um, if it's early Monday morning, it's once I'm awake. Um, I'm currently in New York, if anyone is wondering, so Eastern Time Zone, US. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for some more gaming news, gaming sales, and gaming industry information.